Welcome to another simple instructional snippet. In this instructional video, we work a conservation of energy example for an ideal gas in a piston cylinder device. Let's start with a frictionless cylinder. Then let's add a frictionless piston. Oxygen is in the cylinder with an initial temperature and pressure denoted as T1 and P1 respectively. Heat transfer adds energy to the oxygen. As energy is added to the oxygen, the piston moves out in a constant pressure process. The final state is denoted with temperature and pressure of T2 and P2 respectively. Here is the provided data. The mass of oxygen, T1, the pressure for states 1 and 2, and T2 are provided. Our goal is to find the energy or heat transfer added to the oxygen from state 1 to state 2. Before we get started, we will also need the specific heat for a constant pressure process. This is provided here. Now we're ready to solve the problem. Let's start with conservation of energy for a fixed mass system. It is shown solved for the unknown the heat transfer from states 1 to 2. Recall that a positive heat transfer is energy added to the system, while positive work indicates work by the system. These sign conventions are common, but not universal. Some textbooks and references can adopt different conventions, so always be careful when you get equations out of unknown references. Let's simplify. First, let's review the components for energy. Internal energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. We'll define the datum at the elevation of the mass, so potential energy is zero. There is no velocity at state one or two, so kinetic energy is also zero. We are left that the energy added to the system is equal to the change in internal energy and the work done by the system. Now let's come up with an expression for the change in internal energy. Treating the oxygen as an ideal gas, we know that the internal energy only depends on the absolute temperature. The equation to calculate the change in internal energy are shown. Note that since we are calculating the change in internal energy, we will be using the change in temperature the change in temperature in Kelvin is the same as the change in temperature in Celsius, so we will skip converting from Celsius to Kelvin. Now let's find an expression for the work done by the system. By definition, the work is solved by integrating the dot product of force with position. This is shown for the work from state 1 to 2. Notice that we drop the vector notation since there is only motion in the x direction. We know that force is equal to the pressure times the area of the piston, we also know that the change in volume from state 1 to state 2 is equal to the area of the piston times dx, or the change in position from state 1 to state 2. Substituting in the above and carrying out the integration, we obtain an expression for work equal to the pressure times the change in volume. We don't know the initial or final volume, however, we do know the temperatures at state 1 and state 2. We will use the ideal gas law to substitute the change in temperature for the change in volume. The resulting equation is shown. Now we bring it all together and plug back into the conservation of energy equation. At this point we recognize that we can simplify the equation since the constant pressure specific heat is equal to the constant volume specific heat plus the gas constant. The resulting equation is that the heat transfer is equal to the mass times the constant pressure specific heat times the change in temperature. This is not surprising since this is a constant pressure process from state 1 to state 2. Plugging in the numbers and units we get the energy added from state 1 to state 2 is equal to 518.4 kilojoules. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.